Hello boys and girls. Hi, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Children's Church here at Bronxwood International Church of God. We are so excited that you're connected with us today, right? I am your host. I'm your youth pastor, Reverend Marsha Vincent. I'm by myself today. I guess they gave me a little bit of training and we're on our way to learning about the Lord. So let's call a friend, tell them to log on. Children's Church is about to begin. Let's begin now with some praise and worship. Come on in. As for me and my house, as for me and my family, as for me and my house, we're gonna serve the Lord.
God, praise God, praise God. I'm so honored and privileged to be able to freely give praise to our God. Aren't you happy to give praise unto our God? Yes, boys and girls, it's a privilege to be able to freely give, freely give praises to our God. So today, I'm excited to bring to you the first part of our new series that we have entitled Encounters with Jesus encounters with Jesus. In today's lesson, we will learn about the story of Zacchaeus. Ooh, Zacchaeus. Oh, so the Bible tells us that Zacchaeus was a very short man. They said, wee little man. There's a song. Wee little man, Zacchaeus. And he was very, very rich. He got his riches because he was a tax collector. Mm. And he cheated many people out of their money. In today's episode, we will learn about the first time Zacchaeus had an encounter with Jesus. He had heard about Jesus from people and all the miracles that Jesus was doing, and he wanted to meet Jesus for himself. And he wanted to spend some time with Jesus. But there was a major problem for poor Zacchaeus. Why? What's the problem? He was too short. So every time he comes around where Jesus was passing by, he would try, but the taller people would block him from seeing Jesus. But on this particular day, he was determined to see Jesus. And so you know what Zacchaeus did? In order to get noticed, he did something unique. He came up with a unique plan. Well, let's look at the video and see what Zacchaeus did. Wow. Jesus met many people and did amazing things during his three years of ministry. One time, he met a small man with a big name. His name was Zacchaeus, and there are two things you should know about him. First, he was rich. Second, he was short. Zacchaeus was rich because he cheated by taking more tax money from people than he was supposed to. For that reason, just about everybody disliked Zacchaeus. As Jesus was teaching, many came to listen to him speak. Zacchaeus really wanted to see him too. He had heard of all the amazing things Jesus had done. The streets were filled with people, and Zacchaeus' curiosity grew stronger by the minute. Zacchaeus tried to get a good spot, but he was too short to see from behind the crowds. No matter how hard he pushed or how high he jumped, he couldn't even get a glimpse of Jesus. The crowds were too many, and the people were too tall. Finally, Zacchaeus found a solution. He ran ahead to where Jesus would eventually pass by, found a big sycamore tree, and climbed it. But then Zacchaeus got nervous. Jesus was coming right towards him. Here he was, sitting in a tree like a trapped cat, and Jesus was coming to look at him. Sure enough, Jesus stopped at the bottom of the sycamore tree and looked up at Zacchaeus. Jesus smiled at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Imagine Zacchaeus' surprise when he heard that. Jesus was coming to his house. Zacchaeus scrambled down the tree and showed Jesus the way to his house. He was so excited. The bystanders, and especially some of the religious leaders, were shocked. How could this Jesus, who was a teacher of the law, go and eat with a sinner like Zacchaeus, they murmured. The religious leaders were right. Jesus did eat with a sinner. He visited Zacchaeus to teach him the truth and show him how to obey and serve God. Some of the religious leaders cared more about their own reputation than showing God's love to people around them. Zacchaeus knew that he had sinned by stealing money from people. He felt deep sorrow and regret. After receiving Jesus' love and forgiveness, he told Jesus, Look, I'm giving half of everything I own to the poor people. And for all the money that I've cheated people of, I'll give them back four times as much. 
Jesus forgave Zacchaeus' sin. He said, Today, salvation has come to your house. That day, Jesus showed God's love to Zacchaeus, and it changed him. There is nothing more powerful than Christ's love. <laughs> wow, that was a great lesson. Did you find out what Zacchaeus did? Did you watch the video? Did you see it? You see, Zacchaeus was determined to have an encounter with Jesus. And he was willing to do whatever it takes, even if it meant climbing a tree, which is what he did. He climbed the tree. So once he had the encounter, his life changed forever. He was no longer the same. He became a new man. Today, I pray that if you have an encounter with Jesus, just like Zacchaeus did, you too will experience that same change in your life. And the good thing about it is that you won't have to climb a tree to get to Jesus. You don't have to do that to get his attention. All you have to do is say a prayer, right? This is all you have to do to get Jesus' attention. Now let's look at today's memory verse. Memory verse for today is taken from Luke chapter 19, verse 9 to 10, and it states, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Seek and save the lost. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope we will have that same determination to see Jesus just like Zacchaeus did. But before we go, let's just say a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for each and every one of our boys and girls and their family members who are watching today. I pray, oh God, that we'll build our faith, oh God, and we'll be just as determined as Zacchaeus was to seek out and search for and have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And that once we have that encounter, our lives will be changed forever. Oh God, draw us into you, oh God. Bless every boy and girl, bless their homes, bless their parents right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And help them to continue, oh God, to stay in connection with you. We love you, we praise you, we honor you, and we adore you. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, see you guys. Bye, enjoy your week.